Yo guys and welcome to a new video. Today we are reacting to the new Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania official trailer. Alright, so before we start, I heard that this trailer was coming out tonight, it, for me it's tonight, and uh, well, I thought due to my calculations and due to what Marvel actually typed herself, that it was releasing at 1.30 a.m. for me. Turns out it was releasing at the end of that fucking game, uh, so I had to wait another two hours editing shit and doing other stuff that I wanted to do, because I came such a long way, I wasn't gonna give up in the last 10 seconds. So yeah, here I am. It's now... It's 4.30. I should be if... I should have been asleep for at least four hours. I need to wake up in six hours so i'm just i'm just gonna watch this trailer uh i haven't reacted to the first trailer now i remember it so i'm sorry for that uh the reason i didn't was because well i wasn't feeling recording uh but now i'm back i'm gonna react to this one and um gotta say pretty damn hyped for ant-man and the watch quantum mania it's just there's a lot of stuff in this that I just, I'm questioning things about. Mainly, well, the first Ant-Man was awesome, the second one was a little bit less. The runtime of this is 2 hours and 5 minutes, which seems good for an Ant-Man movie, which will have a lot of drama moments, but also still is a comedy. I think it's a perfect balance to put it right at 2 hours. Uh, but other things like Kang the Conqueror, I mean, we've seen the man, and... I don't think they will actually use the main big bad Kang the Conqueror in the Ant-Man movie as the main villain, because he's supposed to be the biggest baddie of all time, bigger than Thanos, so he will just crush Ant-Man in a second, and yeah, I don't feel like Ant-Man hope everyone else is gonna die in this, I feel like Hank Pym is gonna die in this, or maybe Janet again, but I do think J Hank Pym is gonna die in this. Uh, but I don't think it will be with the biggest, baddest Kang the Conqueror that there is. So maybe it's a variant of him, not the biggest bad that they teased him like the big bad, but it actually turns out that he that he isn't. And I feel like he is more going to be of a side character to this movie and that Modoc is going to be the main villain. Uh, we all know he's going to be in this and I've heard rumors and I've heard leaks. Uh, the last hour that he, Modoc is actually in the trailer, so I am very interested in seeing where that's gonna go. So, Marvel Studios, Ant-Man and Wasp, Quantumania new trailer. Let's watch it, let's react, let's hype, and let's make my waiting worthwhile. Actually, very much like the first trailer, because it had Elton John, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, and I just love Elton John. Let's go. Ooh, dynamic movie like Oh, no, 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 let's just watch it. <laughs> You're an interesting man, Scott Lang. Thank you. You're an Avenger. <laughs> He's so popular now because of his podcast. You have a yes, eh? That he didn't see grow up. He's in jail. Time. Like me. We can help each other with that. Yep, this is where it all goes to shit. This is the you've changed my spell Call six you. times moment. Oh, there's gang. I'm the man who can give you the one thing you want. Oh my What's god! That? Nice! Time. Oof. Oof! I can rewrite existence and shatter timelines. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, what? You cannot trust him. I don't care who this guy is. I just lost so much. He can give us a second chance. Oh, I see. I see where this is gonna go. Oh, wow. Let me make this easy for you. Easy? You will bring me what I need. Uh oh. Or everything you call a life will end. Uh oh. This is where I did. This is where it goes to shit. This is 
No, it isn't. You can't see it. You may not want her to watch this. We had a deal. Boy! Oh, yeah! My God! Oh! Okay! You thought you could win. Holy shit. Oh! We both just have to lose. Oh! I'm sorry, Cassie. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! A lot of interesting things that I actually very much like. Uh, like, mainly the plot. I mean, it's so logical for Kane the Conqueror to tease Ant-Man like that, and for Ant-Man to actually go for it. I mean, we know the man is manipulative, but, <laughs> uh, but the way he actually goes for it is so bittersweet just to get a second chance with Cassie because he feels like he failed all over. Not only because he did not spend time with her, he did not see her grow up, but mostly just because she was also in jail. She was going down the wrong path, and that is interesting. But also, it seems like Kang is going to be the main villain after all. Uh, but I do think Modok has a big deal in this too, just because... Uh, just my theories. I think Kang has plans for the Quantum Realm, but Modok, also a bad guy, is actually kind of stopping Kang within that. So maybe Ant-Man is tasked with getting rid of MODOK. Maybe. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. I have absolutely no, no idea. Uh, this raises the question, will Ant-Man die? Maybe. I'm not gonna say he isn't going to die, because that shit looked terrifying for him. I'm actually very scared for him now. Still feel like Hank Pym is gonna die, but yeah, there is a lot of good stuff in this. A lot of good stuff that I actually really like what they are doing right now. So that is clearly very good. For the rest, hmm, was it worth the wait? Gotta say, yes, it was worth the wait. I am so happy I am one of the first 100,000 people that watched the trailer. <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing good. I waited five hours for this to drop and now I'm here and I'm happy that it finally dropped. I saw it and now I'm gonna edit this and go to sleep and probably watch the trailer two to three times more on my way out. Yeah, we saw a glimpse of MODOK. Let's talk about MODOK because MODOK, hmm, I said, whoa, Ugh. And the reason I said, whoa, was, oh my god, it's MODOK. And then I said, ugh, because of the design. Because it's not the floating head. I was expecting. <laughs> I have seen that weird looking fan art thing that people made when uh, D23 or uh, San Diego Comic Con came and I thought like, ooh, if this is the case, ooh, this, is, this is interesting, it's a weird redesign. Uh, but I thought it was a fan art and clearly it isn't. So, um, yeah, Modoc. <laughs> Wait, let me rephrase that. I don't think he looks awful. Absolutely not. But I do think he looks weird. And I do get the redesign, but I do hope we're gonna see one glimpse of a real face in that robotic. Maybe it's a helmet. I don't know. All right. That being said, I am very much hyped for Ant-Man and the Wasp uh, Quantumania, which will drop in a little bit less than a month. Two days earlier for me than you Americans. So, that's for me. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Interesting. Just very much interesting. All right. Thank you for watching and give a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, goodbye.